<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the greatest money podcast ever known. Absolutely. Today we're going to be talking about uh, something very important and show you an example of the trading. You know, Kian today asks it, how do you make money from trading? I, uh, I want to show you an example. So I'm going to come back after this little commercial we have. Worldwide, only one third of adults understand basic financial concepts. Only 24% of millennials understand basic financial topics. 12% of adults would not be able to pay their monthly bills if they incurred an unexpected expense of $400 or more. Welcome to Money and Investing Talk with Ali Sharaki and Kian. A unique way to learn about finance. Ali has an MBA in business. He's an experienced senior forex, stock, and crypto trader. And you can follow along as he teaches his son about investing, trading, and everything finance. Live from the United Kingdom, Birmingham, this is the greatest money podcast on the planet with your hosts, Ali Sharaki and Kian. Hello everyone and welcome to Money Investing Talk and today we've got an interesting topic to talk about. I actually asked this question earlier today and we thought why not just make this into the podcast. Mm. So the question I asked, can you give us an example of a trade and how it makes it, how it makes profit because you've been getting messages like Ali, you've been entering these trades but how do you actually make profit from it? Mm. And I'm actually curious myself, how do you actually make profit? Well, you see it yourself because you do it. But uh, for people, uh, it's like, let me share this uh, screen. I hope I'm sharing it. Yeah. If you are on our Facebook now or LinkedIn, you can see example of this. Let me turn off this caption. So, for example, as you know, Kian, yeah, you know about the indicators. Uh, now here we have this indicators if you look at that here we have two cycles to, you know just uh, popped up so i'm expecting now the market will go down to create the phase two and the market is going to go down to create the phase two it's actually, the, it's actually interesting how fast it's moving yeah you know uh, is on the lower time frame so that's why it's moving faster then it comes up and it goes down again. I'm waiting for the EMA to cross. You can see here the EMA cross. That means the trend has changed actually. Mm. Then I'll wait for uh, the cycle to go up and come down again. To here, you see it's coming down again. And when it comes down, and it shows us a, a here you are, right? At this point. I would enter the market at this green bar because that is the green engulfing, you know? Uh, and also we had the EMA crossed and the market keeps going. Yeah. The market keeps and going. When it just goes up like that. Yeah. And the market keeps going. Past the EMA. Yeah. And I'll wait until the EMA cross again. Mm. And so it basically going. it's like a waiting game yeah so my money is now. Nice. i press the button i don't sit down and wait and watch this you know i need to check this every one hour so i just leave it and i go and do whatever i want to do you know we mm. go to gym you know yeah. how you know, we go to gym go to gym you know, do swimming do stuff, want. Do our work. and you know i for example imagine if this is a two thousand pound account uh, i'm risking um, about seven pound fifty per point uh, on here uh, probably on this trade, already I made about three, four hundred pounds. Mm. Yeah. And it, you know, it took a couple of hours just. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. You know, so, and then it carries on going. Still, I'm in profit because look, I entered at this point, market is going up, it keeps coming down and up, down and up, but it's creating cycles, right? My main thing is I can see my EMAs, they have a good gap, mm. right? See? I wanted to just see this this trade. This trade made me 
over 8,000 pounds mm. just on this one trade, right? So for all of you asking, how do you make profit? This is how you make profit. I just let it in and I just left it for, you don't for, have to, for actually a few days, yeah. You don't have to sit there every day just no, staring at the market. it depends on what time frame you are, you are in. This time frame. Yeah, so I, I entered on this time frame exactly on that point. And I just left it. I just check it sometime and then I close it. That's it. Now, I recorded my trade, what I've done, and I put on a faster speed. Each one of these candles takes one hour to fall, right? Mm. So I just let it in and I left it. That's why the money is in the market, money is working, uh, and I just go and do whatever I want to do. And mm. then I come back. If I see it's broken that, for example, EMA, the, the 50 EMA, I close the trade or it depends on a strategy. You see what happened is we have 42,000 different strategies. We have chosen 12 of them. I paid a lot of money to learn these 12. And because they are trading, you know, they are very tried and tested strategies, you know, uh, and they always pay, most of them they pay off. I can't say 100%, but most of them they pay off. Mm -hmm. uh, and in trading, the art is to be able to collect more money instead of losing. So more reliable strategies you are using, more reliable your earnings is going to be, you know. Uh, and I paid a lot of money to go and learn actual good strategies. Otherwise, you can just watch YouTube. Any YouTuber, they come up and they keep saying to you, I've got the best strategy, and they try to mm. teach you stuff. But the thing is, there's a website, 42,000 strategies all written there. But the thing is, try each one of them. It takes at least five or six months. See which one works for you. To see which one is working. Mm. You know, some of them are not working. Some of them are yeah. just a theory. But these 12 strategies we use, they've been tried and tested for at least 100 years by many traders, right? Uh, and that's why we are using them and that's why we are teaching them. You can see if I would have entered at this point, which the EMA crossed, you can see here, right? Market is still continue going, right? I see. Okay. Look, how, look how far it's going, right? Yeah. And it just keeps going while you're doing your work and... And that's on British stuff. pound, yeah. That's on British pound, uh, US dollar. You know, buying the buying the British pound against the US dollar. Do you do the other currency as I well? I can do any currency. I can do any currency, any stock market, gold, silver, anything. Now you see, it keeps going, right? In this trade, up to this point, easily, easily, one and a half thousand, two thousand pound, you would have made without even looking at it. Mm. You know. That's very good. Look, it keeps going. Now, you have to learn how to manage it, risk manage it. So you move your stop loss, you put it here behind here, you put it behind here, for example, now. Why? Because I want to bank the money I made. You know, the money until now I made, I don't want to lose it. So because the market can't fall look, as well. Look at it. Yeah. So, I would, yeah, so uh, you know, I move my stop loss, I put it behind here, but I still have to put room for, you know, market to breathe. You and see? now it's going back up. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Market goes up and down. The main thing is, look at the general movement of the market from when we entered. Is it going up or is it going up. down? Yeah. So we keep making money, yeah. right? This is the main thing. This is what people don't understand. They but are if it was looking, going down. Yeah, they're just looking at the small picture just down here. Yeah. You know, but you have to look at the general picture, and that's what they panic and they they, they see something like this, they panic and they start selling. I'm gonna be selling in this market when my EMA actually crossed. Look at the profit from here all the way going all the way up there, mm. right? And I still keep going. So that's your answer, guys. That's right? how you make profit still in keeps trade. Going. Still keeps going. See, now the market start to come down, right? It's up and down. Right? So that's quite, that was quite scary, but I'm not going to touch it. That, this all takes mental work. You know, you need to understand when to touch it, when to not touch it. Risk management, right? Probably on this point, I would have entered again in the market to make even more money. Mm. This is all comes to technical analysis. Now, what you need to understand, and more this goes up, more and more, more my money is getting up. Look, this on this trade, I came out with about about nine thousand, eight eight and a half thousand, nine thousand pounds. I came out because uh, it was uh, you know Thursday afternoon, and I just wanted to come out. You know, I didn't want to stay in the market on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and pay the fees. Otherwise, I could have stayed in the market. And I still keep making money, mm. right? But now that's yeah. good. In two days, look how much money you made. Yeah, and how hard you would have had to work before. Exactly. So the key, the key point is here in a stock market. 
uh, first of all, you need to have a plan. How much money you want to make? You know, because if you don't have a plan, you enter the market, you're going to be greedy. You're never going to end your trade. Uh, and that's how it works. It's passive income. You, you check the market, two minutes, you press the button. All you need is just to know uh, when to enter, how to manage it, and how to do it. And that's what we teach in our FGC club uh, to people, you know. Now, there are many people. There are many different style of trading. One, for example, which I started in 2009, was a fundamental analysis trading, which was very difficult. I had to go and learn about the economy, microeconomy. I had to learn how to how the economy affects the country, the GDP, everything. I had to learn so much economical stuff to be able to read financial uh, papers, everything. It was very difficult. Uh, me being dyslexic, uh, I find it very difficult to do this much learning and reading. So I learned a different way, which is very strong way, and that is technical analysis way. We look at the chart, based on the chart, based on the pattern, based on uh, what we see on the chart, we make a decision. Even if you put me in the room with a closed door, I can make a decision if I enter the market or not, without mm. even reading any economy or any, any news or anything. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is very cool, isn't I it? I got super that. <laughs> Especially when you come home, you know, with the, and you see the profit, you just close the trade, you take your money. Good day, you good day. Gym, you've been to Sona. You... <laughs> anyway, this, the, probably this video is going to be removed by Facebook because they don't like uh, uh, us to talk about this live and show this stuff live. Otherwise, I would love to teach all this stuff live you know, on Facebook, but uh, all our Facebook uh, live get disrupted or it get cut or it gets removed, especially if we talk about money or... They're trying or... to take us down. No, the thing is they don't want, nobody wants you to learn about this stuff because it is risky. But the thing is, how can you remove the risk? Anything is risky, isn't it? Drinking water is risky. You could be drinking water and choke and digest. You could just walk out of your house and get hit by a car. You could be sitting in the car and start driving and have an accident and die, right? Everything is risky, but what do you do to manage the risk? You go and learn how to drive. You go and pass your driving test, and then you go and sit and drive, right? But why they don't stop you from driving? Because driving is not gonna make you to be financially independent. It makes you to go and find a job and help the economy of the country to run. That's what they love you to do. That's what they promote it. They let you go and learn how to drive, even though it's risky, right? But mm -hmm. learning financial market is gonna make you financially independent and nobody likes you to be financially independent because then you have power. You can do whatever you want. There will right? be no use for them. Exactly. So you're not going to be working anymore. You're not going to be running the country anymore or running the economy of the country. That's why they need to filter all this stuff. This is risky. How do you manage the risk? You go and learn how to manage your risk. Improve your tricks, your strategies. Improve, yeah, improve your strategies. Exactly like how to learn to drive, you learn how to trade. It's just you know? like in my game, to improve the chances of me winning, I have to learn more, learn all the skills and Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. Or you can, you know, if, if I keep telling you it's risky, don't touch it, it's risky. But then... You're never going to learn it, right? Yeah. And why am I not going to let you learn it? Because I don't know how to play. That's one of the mm -hmm. reasons. If I want to try to stop you from learning your game or play your games, it's because I don't know how you're playing. That's the most reason why people want to stop you. And I find it very difficult to learn your games, how to play your games. So that's why it's much more easier if I just stop you from playing, mm. right? But what am I doing right now? I'm trying to learn from you how to play game, because uh, it's cool, you know, to be able to be able to spend my time with you and you know play game and everything. It's the best thing yeah. ever to be able to that let the money run at the background, <laughs> make the, the money, the way you <laughs> make the money run, <laughs> and you make the you 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 use your time to play with your kids. You know, sit down and play games and everything. Spend time with them because you don't know how long you got. You know, life is too short, man. Life is too short. Enjoy your time. I hope this example was useful and it helped you to understand how I make money from forex because you need to analyze the market. You enter the market. You let the money run. The you know. The market goes up, market goes down, but you use your tool to learn which way the market is going to go. Prediction, you get in, the market goes in that direction. Also, you have a stop loss. If the market doesn't go in that direction, you have pending orders, which stops you from getting the market. So there are many risk management tools which you can use to stop you from losing money. There is no as such as zero risk business. Any business has risk, so this has its own risk as well. But the main thing is if at the end of the year you are profitable, not in loss. If you are in profit, 
you are winning. If you are in loss in any business at the end of the year, then obviously you need to change your business or improve your strategies. I hope this was useful and I see you in the next live.